So I received in a project request a while back from a viewer of the channel and I thought it was really interesting so I jumped into it with both feet and I'd like to share it with you guys. So let's jump into this together and I'll explain a little bit more. Welcome to this episode of Open SCAD by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I want to share this license plate cover designer that I whipped up in Open SCAD. I had a viewer write into me saying, Hey, I bought a motorcycle. I want to do a custom pl uh, plate cover in Open SCAD. How would I go about doing it? I'm new to it. So, you know, please help me. So, again, I jumped into it. I wrote this, uh, sent it off to them, and uh, they've been enjoying it and I thought this was a good uh, project to share with you guys too from a couple different dimensions number one it's a very functional project that one can use and number two there's a lot of interesting design concepts that went into this uh, to make it practical because obviously what we're going to do is 3d print this now you could conceivably also see and see this but hey I think 3d printing is a better option so when I took on this project one of the things that I wanted to keep in mind were several 3d printing uh, realities and one of those is supports and this is one of the reasons that I recess the text up here rather than embossing the text the other piece from an aesthetic point of view as I thought this through was you can spray paint this plate cover and then inlay some uh, paint by brushing it in pouring it in letting it run through the uh, you know text etc to highlight it so again recessing this was good and then the other piece is what I can do is I can flip this upside down I can print it so as you see this lip here uh, I require no support materials and because the um, uh, text is actually so short in here uh, this can for the most part be bridged so again this was a, a big design consideration in the way I created this because I have to admit I initially started out with this embossed and I got thinking this is just going to be a mess to print uh, the other piece that I did is I wanted to make it easy for them to kind of see how everything goes together because this was sort of dual purpose it the idea was to make this functional for the viewer that they could use with a very uh, novice skill set of open SCAD but yet learn from so that's why I set up all these variables over here so basically everything with this license plate no matter the size bolt configuration text it is configurable over here which is really kind of cool um, because as you can see here we can change the text we can change the font style uh, you know the whole nine yards the other piece that that I built in and I always typically build this in is what I call a fudge factor whether I'm working in open SCAD or fusion 360 fudge factors are critical because one of the pieces in this design is I did not know um, again it, it, in the end state which font would be used because again you can, can change the font here so how is that going to work position wise uh, the proportional or kerning of the characters and so again when we have the fudge factor I can really get some finite control now maybe in most cases I don't need it but if I do need it it's there and when I say you know if I need it basically the user of this so somebody with basically no knowledge of open SCAD could take this and even you know by activating going up here to view and activating unhide customizer can go over here and you know create their own license plate cover which is something that's really really cool about uh, open SCAD so which is which is exciting uh, so with that most of the design geometries are all pretty straightforward I'm not going to really go through them uh, but again is is I just kind of page down so you can kind of see the structure everything's broken out in my typical design of creating a master union and then from that master union creating a master master difference so because you can see here here's my master difference my master union start and creating in a top level module so again nothing magic about that but I think it's just the design concept of the way that this was created as well as the layout of the variables which were exciting to me and I think is something that I want to pass along to you guys because this is as, as I mentioned in a number of my videos this is where I always start is with the variables and then from the variables I I build up the code I use my standard difference union modeling and at 
the end of the day, this is your product. So hopefully you found this interesting. The code will be out on the OpenSCAD site. If you want to grab it, create your own license plates, have at it. Uh, please hit me up in the comments below, and we'll see you guys in the next video where we talk about something else cool, OpenSCAD. Cheers.